Hello students. Now our next chapter in English grammar is chapter 20 that is simple past tense. Now we have already studied simple present tense and we are moving forward to simple past tense. Now let us look how simple past tense sentences are formed. We use simple past tense to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Now what, it, what does it say? It says that we use simple past tense when we need to express that an activity or an action just started and it also finished at a specific time in the past. It may be uh, recent past or uh, long duration but it just started and it got finished and we are expressing that action. Now, for example, I studied English yesterday. So, here is an action that I studied English. But I studied English yesterday. So, it is in the past. It shows an action that started and finished in the past. Now, simple past tense can also be used to talk about a series of completed actions in the past. Now, in this sentence that I studied English yesterday is just talking about one action that I did yesterday but now if you want to express any action any series of actions that happen you can also use simple past tense for example I worked out at the gym I took a shower and I went to the school so here there are three actions that happen I worked out in the gym that is first action I took a shower that is second and then I went to the school that is third action all the three, three actions are a series of actions that first I worked out, then I took a shower and then I went to the school. So all this happened in the past and I have used simple past tense to express that a series of actions happened. Now, here is how you can form a simple past tense sentence. With most verbs of the past tense is formed by adding ed to the verb. For example, here are the subjects we use I, he, she, it, you, we, they. Okay? With that, we use verb plus ed after the verb. For example, I played the violin two hours ago. So, I play here play. Play is the verb. Play is the original form of the verb. While if I add ed to, to the verb, it becomes past form of the verb. Also, it, it shows an action that happened two hours ago. So, it is in simple past. I woke up early. Now, walk is a past form of the verb. Wake. Wake is the original form of the verb. While if we, if we use it in simple past tense, we need to use woke. So, I woke up early. Now, if, if we want to form a negative sentence in simple past, we use a simple format. In negative sentences, we use did not plus original form of the verb. Unlike in the positive sentences of simple past, we use here original form of the verb with did not because here in did not, did is already showing us the past form. For example, she did not go out yesterday. So, the action has already happened, she did not go out yesterday. It is in negative because we have did not in the sentence. And we have used original form of the verb with did not to form a negative sentence. Next example is, the bus did not reach on time. Now, the bus already did not reach in the time, so it is in the past. Did not, we have used to make it negative. And reach, we have used original form of the verb because we have already used did to express it is in the past. Now, similarly, in questions, if we uh, need to form any questions in the simple past, we put did before the subject. And we use original form of the verb. For example, did they buy all the gifts today? So, in negative sentences, we were using did not plus original form of the verb. Why? 
while, while, while making questions we use did before the subject as you can see here in example that did they buy all the kids today we have used did before the subject they and we have used original form of the verb buy we have not used brought because we have already used did which shows the action has already been done and did is in already past tense so we have used original form of the verb buy and we have used did before the subject 